is Yakovlev back in. So it should play to play, play yet to stay in the top five of the VNL standings. They moved there yesterday after that win against the USA. They can underline that with a win here against Italy. But uh, I'm sure Legini, the Italian coach, will have other ideas. Velasco on court in the libero position for Italy. That completes their lineup. The man in the right shirt today. It's going to be Oleg Antonov to start things off. The atmosphere here in the Ufa Arena once again amazing. Our final game of week two here in Ufa. Italy serve against Russia. Away we go. Turning it to the line. Nelly doesn't like his line shots, doesn't use them a hell of a lot. And he's missed the first opportunity in the game. Great defense from Antonov, but look at the size and organization of that block. When Russia know where the ball is going, they put up an almighty wall. Gurkaev, another player that was brilliant yesterday against the USA, the number 20 shirted middle player with his serve. Gianelli goes to Polo. Polo hasn't played a lot, came on as a serving specialist a couple of times, bizarrely, which is quite unusual for a middle player. But he's a good defender, he's a good server, but he's a like-for-like -like middle blocker. He's a high-jumping, floating middle blocker, just like Yakovlev for Kyrkaev. Lengini hopes that he can counter the Russian middle offence. Good dig. There's a sign of that defence from Polo. Free ball, though, to the Russians. And Palatiev is stopped by Cavuto. They've done their homework of Italy. And they know Palatiev likes to hit line. Likes to open it up, pretend he's going cross, and then go hard down the line. And Cavuto was waiting for him for our first big block of the game. 2-1 Italy. Poor pass, Volkov. Kliuka. So important, he has a good game today. Well patrolled by Palatiev out of court. Kliuka was quiet yesterday in the number 18 shirt for Russia. That is a high-powered start from him. Kopchada serve, big front line for Russia. This should be a scoring rotation for the team in red. Pelatiev, out of system, has to tip it. And a really good swing from Cavuto and a major collision at the net. It was the Russian blockers who touched the net, came under, so it's Italy's point, no need to challenge. Back goes Nelly. Still relatively inexperienced, he's 25 years of age, he plays for Trentino, a fantastic club, but he's been in the shadow of Zaitsev for a while now. This is his big chance, Nelly, to step out of it today, but two errors on his first two chances to score. Great start for the number 20 for Italy. Go with the miss, it's going to take a little time for these two teams to settle. Wink Spiker with the serve. Just gets it over. Volkov, first hit for him. He goes into the block with the tip. <laughs> the double bicep pose for the crowd as Volkov forces it through. He's the player that will fire this crowd up. Good joust against Gianelli. Time for the pose. Goes your Kovlev. Didn't play in the game against the USA. Enigmatic Igor Filipov. And doing a good job. Makes your Kozlev back in and a nice finish from Rousseau. He's been super this week as Rousseau. The Porto Robert Ravenna player. Again, just 22 years of age. Real prospect. Uh, 
Jeff. Not as impressive with his start today as he was yesterday. Nelly just about claws it over. That's more like it from Platiev. Beating uh, Antonov and Polo in the Italian block for a super spike. Watch the height this man gets. It is insane. And then you back that up with the power. And there's that line shot. That's what he was after when he got blocked by Cavuto. Antonov will have to watch that. Good serve as well from him. Nelly can't get the ball on the floor at the moment. Gianelli, the centre though, can. Good swing, draws the net fault. Gianelli just saying to Nelly, that's really good captaincy. I like that from the setter. Just saying to his main hitter, don't worry. You're not putting the ball away because of me. It's my fault. Take the pressure away from the hitter. Five or two. A tense start to the game. Neither team quite relaxing into a rhythm yet. Oh, wonderful dig from Balasso, but it's not coming back. Good positioning from the Italian libero, but Palati has just resumed hostilities. He was phenomenal against the States. It's that line again, Antonov keeps giving it to him. Italy have done their homework because Cavuto's lineup on the first block to get him was good. Antonov not doing that at the moment. Awkward tip from Nelly, but it works. Not roaring yet, the big man. to roar about, and enough to serve, Olympic silver medalist from 2016, but then got injured after the games, and he's just back in the squad now. Good swing, lovely, and there goes Volkov to the adoring fans. Wonderful tandem pipe attack, this is all about the middle player creating the diversion, Volkov finishing the free net, 310 the contact point, that's excellent. We expected to see point for point at the moment. Turkayev to serve. Lovely stuff. Really great set from Gianelli. He's an exceptional talent, the Italian captain. And he has fired that ball at Cavuto. Shoot set, beautiful kill. Italy lead 8 7 at the first technical timeout in set one. It's been Blagini's favourite phrase, use your head. His players thinking their way through this game. They would have done a lot of video analysis last night. Got off court pretty quickly from their Portuguese game, so it would have left time for them to sit down. Look at the, uh, the screen, just work their way through the Russian rotations, try and get some concept of where Kobjar is setting and where the hitters want to hit. The serving specialist from yesterday, Polo, with the serving in at all. Kobjar. Still think this rotation could be good for Russia, even though there are three hitters in the front court for a team. That's well worked from Cavuto. That would have felt like a, a load of umbrellas up over his head with the height of this Russian block and the arms reaching over. But he's used the arms as a target. Cleverly done. And Cavuto making a good start to this match. Sends Nelly back to the baseline once again. Missed his first serve by quite a distance with the boos of the crowd ringing in his ears, puts this one in. Point chance, Italy. Velasso goes to Nelly. 
And he just threads that past the block and into the corner. Terrific hit from the 25-year-old from Trentino. That's real maturity, that attack. Look how high your cough level was. That's incredible. What a block from the Russian middle. 10-8. Italy looking good here. Pick up from Balasso. Oh, clever. That's fantastic. Gianelli just having a little look to see if Russo was there. And boy, was he there. Just look how quickly the Italian middle gets into the air here. Pops himself up. Pops it on the floor. Yakovlev beaten again. Lively stuff in the backcourt from Balasso. Champions League libero for Chivitanova. And an ace to follow. And I think we can safely say Gabriele Nelly has arrived in this match after a sketchy start. Nelly is pounding it. And the service target, as those of you that know your volleyball will have sussed by now, is very, very firmly Volkov. That's that other bit of homework for Italy. They've decided Volkov is who they will pick on. Timeout Russia. Silvuo, a very good passer, swing hitter in his own right for the Finnish national squad. 296 caps when he finished his career. And was come into a very big coaching job at a relatively early age of just 47. Big test for him today. Has options on the bench if Volkov can't withstand the Italian service pressure. He's got uh, Poleshnik from the Kuspas club that he can go to, number 14. Nelly back to the service line to resume hostilities, but Wales that one out of court. Damage is done, though. Damage is done. He's already put a decent number of points between Italy and Russia. 12-9. You could serve. Serve well controlled by Belasso and a great block, monster block from Palatiev and Yakovlev. Who got all of this one? It's Palatiev. Look at the leap on that. That's incredible. All the way over the net for a wonderful shutdown play. Gap closed two. Luka into the net though. Hot and cold player, Kaluko. You just hope that he's hot when you need him at the back end of the set. And then he can beat anybody. Kaluto. Good serve. Well controlled by Volkov. He remains the service target. And Palatiev is flying. I don't think we've seen anybody jump as high as this for a, a couple of seasons. That is just incredible. Quite a light frame, quite a slight individual. 197 is the height, but only 86 kilos. So, power to weight ratio is incredible. Nice feed. Lovely feed. Gianelli goes to his power man, Nelly. And the opposite unloads on that one, smashes it straight into Kuyuka's chest. Kliuka could do there, other than close his eyes and shut his mouth. Roberto Russo. Two metres and eight tall, so just a couple of centimetres shorter than Nelly. That allows him to deliver that flat serve from high above the net. He's aced Kliuka. This is a brilliant start from the Azuri. And Kliuka... See how far across he went there. He's trying to cover number seven, Volkov, who's the service target. It's Volkov. That's who the Italian players have been told to hit on serve. 
They've missed him again. Kliuka passes. Latiev bugles Antonov. That's a great piece of work from Italy. First Palatiev hit came right off the forehead, I think, of Antonov. Straight through the arms, off the forehead, into play. And Italy finish with a monster block. Polo on court for that very play. And Volkov is being roughed up here by the Italians. He is not having a good time on court. Samuel Vua might have to make changes. 16-11 Italy. Second technical timeout. Situazioni chiusi dal muro. Vorreste, se tu la lasci passare un po', se la palla di Cinarete, puoi anche fare il pallonetto forte dietro. Ma dietro, di fianco alle mani del, del due, eh? perché loro sono lunghi, hai tirato già una parallela, solo che la devi lasciare passare un po', arrivava. E che la stai colpiva. Euro, the wall, the block. Gini asking his players to just think about using the Russian block. Don't hit hard and straight into it, try and hit off it. There's enough of it there to aim at, that's for sure. So he's waving a couple of suitcases around above the net. That's how big this Russian block is. But it's not the only part of the game. And passing well and siding out well is key. So out, say the officials. This will be our first challenge of the game. Russia will challenge to ask if this hit the block. But in fact, looks like it's been given already straight away. Block touch confirmed. Challenge kept. Two challenges per set. And that one pinging off Polo's pinky finger on the left hand. with the point, Palatiev with the serve, oh he's thrashed that, that's a huge hit, free ball, Kobja goes wide to Volkov and Volkov straight on the floor, and just like that, the home side have come to life, super spike after a terrific serve, and this is what a free ball does for you, all sorts of problems, for the Italian block, they got nowhere near that. Good serve, Palatier faces. And what a contribution he's made to this match already. Fifth point for him. First ace on the outside of the line over Kabuto's head at 109.2 kilometers per hour. That is fizzing and a good timeout called by Gian Lorenzo Blangini. Since the technical, his team haven't scored a point. quality of players out there on court this match couldn't have been anything but a cracker and it started very well and listen to that crowd listen to that here in the Ufa arena whoa that sends a few tingles down your spine as the crowd demands Russia continue this run Palatiev to serve again as the timeout worked no it hasn't it's another ace and Viktor Palatiev, who didn't start the tournament here in Russia, took a while for him to be brought on court, is now establishing himself as one of the best in the VNL. 121.7 kilometers per hour. That's getting up there with the world's fastest spike from Maddy Kaziski at 132 clicks. Ace again! And Palatiev is ripping this Italian team to pieces at the moment from the service line. Incredible. Three aces, seven points, and Raffaele makes his way in. Almost a sacrifice play here. They've got to change it up. Cavuto is removed from the court. Raffaele, a very good wing spiker in his own right, comes in in the back line. 
And the substitution just delays Pilatiev enough to miss. Italy finally get a point. That was a long, old, lonely wait for a point after the technical timeout. They got themselves to 16. They were in control of the match. And now we're back to where we started. It's all on for the last part of set one. Oh, what a treat. What a treat here on the VNL. We're seeing some astonishing volleyball. Kliuka from the floor. Runs the little tandem on the reverse for the pipe and gets a free net, courtesy of his skipper, Igor Kodja. Great setting from the captain, great hitting from Kliuka. Volkov bangs it into the net. Well, you've probably seen Dmitry Volkov's head works now. Doesn't want to be outshot down there on court. He's had a torrid time of it on the service reception. He's not hit particularly well for one big spike. And he's tried to out ace Palatiev there with no success. Antonov. He too misses. So points being traded again, but being traded on errors at the moment. Neither team wants to take the foot off the gas right we can all breathe now we've got a jump float serve to come from good kf so a bit more sedate and that's gone wide well there's lots of different names for what's happening right now but over revving probably best describes what the players are going through they're all a little bit too fired up down there can follow Restore some order. He can. Kluka beats the block with ease. And that's the problem. Serve it easy. It's going to hurt when it's coming back. Good set from Kodja. Beautiful hit from Kluka. I told you he was a talent. He's just gone over the top of Nelly. I don't believe I've just seen that. Three metres and 40, the contact point. Right over the top of the number 20 for Italy. Italy in a bit of trouble now in this set. Nelly misses under pressure. And Russia have turned things around. What a comeback. From five points down, Russia take the lead. And Nelly, just like he did from that position early on in this set, misses the line shot. Time out for Italy to try and stop this run. Genie just spending a bit of time with Nelly. Essentially telling him to forget the line, try cross court or try for the hands on the block. This is what Nelly is learning right now. He's learning that he's got to back himself. He's got to say to himself that he's the best hitter in that situation. He can go for his regular shot, he can beat the Russian block. And until he tries, he's not going to know. And a good wide set, Raffaele stop. Nelly. Oh, tips it straight into the block, and the young man has lost all his confidence at the moment in that opposite spiker position. Back it comes, not sure how good the set was. No, it was too tight. Nelly forced a tip, and Kliuka all over it. More substitutions, and Nelly's lost his place on court. Pinali is the obvious substitution option. For Lengini. And again, a substitution works. Gets in Kovjar's head. So, Giulio Pinali, 22 years of age from the Modena club. 1 metre 99 tall, so 11 centimetres shorter than the man he's just replaced. He is at the service line, but what a phenomenal talent coming through the Italian ranks. Pace serve, but nicely passed by Kliuka. Palatiev is stopped. 
Italy go. And that's brilliant. From the floor, hurry up offense from Gianelli. And Raffaele with the no look hit. It always looks so, so cool when you hit the ball like this. Oh, oh yes. He's looking away because he doesn't want it in the face from Kliuka's block, but it just looks great. 21 all. Good inclusion from Pinali. Good service from him. And again, Volk off the target. Great pass. Palatiev almost turns himself inside out as he hits that ball. Well, if you're a right handed spiker, watching the lefties is always a bit strange. And <laughs> that one is right out of the world of weird. What a hit from Palatiev. Eight points for him already. Off the net. Nice hit. My goodness me, hasn't Raffaele done a good job since he's come on court for Cavuto? You can only start the players that you think will do the job for you. As a coach, you always have to keep an open mind about changing and bringing other players in. It's going to be one of those interesting change-ups. So, just as I say, what a great job Raffaele has done. And Gini brings Cavuto back in at the service line. So he's starting wing spiker, he was given a workout on the pass, he's back on court, 22 all. Good serve from Cavuto, rewards his coach. Tight, and a great reuse from Volkov. He goes again, but Balasso picks him off, and that's brilliant. Once again from Gianelli. Doesn't need the full approach from his middle players, he just needs them in the air. Down it goes, great reuse ball, but Volkov can't put it away. And Russo once again just pops up in front of the setter to kill it into the corner past Kliuka. And it's Samo Vuo's turn to feel the heat. He calls a timeout for Russia. Speaking, his timeouts have been quite emotional for Samuel Vuos. He's been trying to fire the boys up, but now he realizes he needs to take them back down a peg. He's been over revving some of the Russian players and he wants them back down and calm because there's no point in being fired up for service reception. Service reception is calm and cool and watch the ball. 23 22 in this first set race to 25. Cavuto to serve again. Great serve, well picked up by Kliuka. Vlatiev does the job that he's on court to do. Kill the ball. And when you're contacting it at around about 340 in the air, that's a metre above the net. And that's a terrific hit. 23 all. What an opener. Pog left to serve. Kurkayev, the middle player, back in the front line. Good serve, really good serve. It's going to be a free ball rush out. Here comes the fireworks. No, poor contact to Kukrev. But he makes up for it with a stuff block alongside Poltev. And Poladiev has played his role exactly to plan in set one. Great serve onto Antonov to put the pressure on. And then look at that, reaching way over the net. Oh, my goodness. That is a block jump. And Palatiev has just shown us his number. Set point, Russia. Out from Yakovlev. Pressure getting to everybody. Even an experienced player like Yakovlev, 27 years of age. Two clear points required and no ceiling on the set. We play on till we've got a winner. Russo. Palatiev. Only one outcome. Second set point for Russia. And look who's at the service line. It's the ace machine. 
Viktor Poladiev has been brilliant so far in this set. Can he finish it on a moment of genius? Big hit, it's out. Well, he had to go for it, didn't he? But maybe that wasn't the time to just hit it so hard. He's already gone over 120 kilometers per hour on the speed gun. But if he's not in, it doesn't count. 25 all, Italy not out of this first set yet. Gianelli, the captain, with the serve. Good pass. Volkov, free net, really. He had one blocker to beat. He's done it easily. And yet again, goes across to the sideline to bathe in the response from this crowd. What a shot. Third set point, then, for Russia. And number three, Kovalev comes in. Big blocker at the net. Natural substitution for this Russian team. This man can jump as well. And he's on court specifically to shut down the attack. Off pace serve from Volkov. Antonov, not a great pass, and he's going to have to hit this, and he's done it. Antonov through the block. And that takes Oleg Antonov back to the service line. He missed his opening serve, but more than capable of putting in a fast, deep, Pressure serve. Straight switch comes back again. 24. He got Cobb Sharp, the captain on court once more. Kovalev, the backup setter, off. Antonov into the net, and the 30-year-old won't be happy with that one. That was poor. Fourth set point for this Russian team in set one. We thought it was going to be a thriller, and it's delivery. Gurkaya with the serve. Can Russia get it done this time? In. Brilliant. What a shot selection from Simone Gianelli to go to Polo. He hasn't used him for a long time, and Russia just not even thinking that this might go his way. It already stacked out to the wing. Spedoli. So in comes the backup setter, replaces Alberto Polo. So Polo was on as a serve specialist yesterday. He's now been replaced for the other serve specialist, the backup setter Spedoli. Good serve on to Volkov. Fuka. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. I'm pretty sure that's gone straight over the top of the Russian, the uh, Italian block again. Oh, it has. That is immense. Look how high this man goes off the floor. And straight past Pinali. Fifth set point, Russia. Good pass. Oh, that's a good hit, but Kliuka's on it. That might be a fault against Russia. That might be checked at the end of this rally. If Italy lose the point. Kliuka buries it. What a pickup. Oh, Balasso, amazing, but a free ball, Russia. And it's killed by Volkov. Mega rally on a set point to end a quite phenomenal opening bit of action here on the final day of week two in Russia. And I don't think we're going to get a challenge from the Italians. It must have been OK after the diving pickup from Golubev. And then this to finish, free net. And Volkov does the rest. Didn't have the best of times in that set, Volkov, but boy, did he finish it well. Stunning set to open this game between these two top five teams. Russia take it, 29 points to 27. An absolute barrage of serve and spiking at the net. The Italian coaches consider their lineup for set two. For Russia, though, I'm sure they will stick with the players they've got on court because they've done the job. It's Russia that lead here in the UFA Arena. One set to love.
you've got to love the VNL highlights reel at the end of each set, but this one, fortunately, giving us time to uh, get our breath back. What an opening set. And those attack statistics show you that these two teams traded points all the way through. That is impressive. And in the end, Russia edging it just. 3-2 on the blocks, 3-2 on the serves. Both teams restricting their errors. A high-quality opening set ends in favour of the home team. And a sell-out crowd here in the UFA Arena being given a real treat. Well, decent set of contact points for Italy. But a couple of those balls outside the ideal green zone, courtesy of some huge serving from Pelotiev. And very similar for Russia. Both teams under severe pressure on some massive serves, controlling the ball pretty well down there on the floor. What a start to the game. Polo keeps his place on court for Italy. So no Anzani as yet. Pinali out of the floor as well instead of the starting opposite player, Gabriele Nelly. Defence to uh, Pinali, but Nelly's been so good this week already. They need him on court, they need his height at the net. Otherwise, Kiyuka and Volkov are going to be over to operate with impunity. Sketchy opening rally. Put away beautifully by Cavuto. I love, I just love watching Gianelli set. Once he sees the ball is going into the green zone, then he forgets about it. He looks away and he takes a look at the Russian block and then he makes his set. And that's how he knew that he was going to be able to free up Cavuto in the wing. Polo serves out. Too much of that. That's the only real issue, I think, for both teams in the first set. Going for their serves so hard. Keeping them in on a regular basis became an issue. Away we go again then. Anyway, for a while, I think, to see a pattern develop for set two. Gianelli loves it. He just loves to play those sets. Look at this. How far off the net? Over the three metre line, and he pings it into Russo's hand. Russo just tips it down between the two blockers. Always about power. Finale, the new man on in the opposite position for Nelly. And if he doesn't perform in the early stages of this second set, I think we might see Nelly thrown back into the action sooner rather than later. I do think the Azuri need the big man on court against this huge Russian attack. Good job, big serve, big serve from the Russian captain. And he sticks an ace in. Well, this is the rotation that I thought Italy would have a problem with right from the start of the match. And Kovjar, along with the block in the front court, have scored pretty well. First ace then for Kovjar today. There's another cracker, well passed by Balazzo. Point chance, Russia. Palatiev is off the arms and out. We barely mentioned Polatiev at the end of that first set, but it was the number 15 for Russia that did all the damage. That's his 12th point of the game. We're only in the start of set two. Multiply that on through, and even if Russia win, and they three sets to love, it could still be in the 30s on the scoring. Well, if you're going to change from a really good high-pressure topspin serve that's going in to a jump float, you've got to put it in, and Kovjar there in a mistake. The Ruto. Is it long? The ref says yes. Will it be challenge? Don't think they'll bother burning a challenge this early on. In the set. Just the rhythm. So we're all just checking his rotations with one of the bench coaches, lots of coaches around their coach these days. That's uh, Nice work from Pinali. 
That will certainly settle the nerves. That's a very impressive hit from Giulio Penali. Once again, courtesy of a decent enough pass and a very good feed from Captain Gianelli. Really good leave from Golibert. Great to see those serves from the end on cameras sometimes because then you can appreciate the amount which the players make the ball move. They get it to go from side to side, left to right or right to left, but they also get it to dip as well. It can be hellish to pass those jump float serves. Antonov misses. And worrying times here at the start of set two for Italy. They've lost any sort of rhythm in this match. They've lost a real consistency in terms of the side out. And Antonov has finally lost his place on court here. He's played every single point up until now, Oleg Antonov. And the Olympic silver medalist is out. And in comes the always impressive Giacomo Raffaelli in his place. But Raffaelli doesn't cut himself in glory on the first pass. Board. Russia, quick and wide, Volkov is stopped. Well, you know Italy have just played a good point because this uh, this arena goes uh, completely silent. Monster block. And it belongs to the captain, Gianelli. What a bonus to have a setter that can jump a block that high. But Italy's still not getting started in set two. Pancake was seen from Goliabeth. Volkov has to volley it. Gianelli plays it. Finale does the job again. Slightly nervy start in front court for Penali. He served well when he came on in set one, but he was nervous in front court. But two really good kills. The concern, though, for Giulio Penali is that he just cannot put up a block height. That will trouble Luca or Volkov. Gianelli to serve. Pinali in the front court. Blocks at 3.38. He's got Volkov against him. Or, alternatively, Kurkaev. If Kovjar wants to run a play like that, that is insane. Super spike. Kurkaev takes Russia to 8-6 and our first technical timeout. Plutier was the demolition man, it was the wrecking ball in set one. How good is that? Just an amazing volleyball from Plutier from me. Number 15, 12 points on the board so far, three spectacular aces. 23 year old Kuzbas player, he's at the same club as his captain Igor Kodja. Best players on at the moment, three Fakel players in uh, Lukovlev, Ryuka and Volkov. So, a certain amount of club solidarity on the red side of the net at the moment. Fayeli. Quick apology. Hooking it into the antenna, that red and white stick at the corner of the net. It's the out point. We must pass between those two antenna without touching them to be legally in play. And here we go again. That's what the Italian receivers must be feeling like. My goodness, this is some display from Palatiev. We've seen some good play this week here in Russia. We've seen some fantastic performances in the VNL in week two. But I think Palatiev here putting himself up for this week's MVP. Donking serve 
uncontrollable by Rafael. Four aces. And we're not even at the halfway point in set two. And again, what a pass from Balasso. Free ball though. And again, Kobjar just runs what he wants to run. When the pass is in the green zone, Kobjar is ripping the heart out of this Italian block. Both Kurkayev and Yakovlev. Same height at two meters and seven, same contact points way above the net. Into the timeout. Italian coach Gian Lorenzo Blengini, the first coach to blink in this match. Forced away from his starting lineup, forced away from his top point scorer this week, Gabriel Nelly, who's now on the bench in favour of uh, Giulio Pinali. And the same can be said for the starting wing spikers, Kabuto with five points, but it's not really been about that for the wing spikers, it's been about trying to control Palatiev's service. That's the damage that's being done at the moment. Over it goes, just. Oh, wonderful. What a set from Gianelli. And the Russian block has forgot Kabuto was running here. He's free, he's not had to pass it. So he runs the play. Gianelli just pops it up off his shoulder. And it's a free net. That's how you beat the big blockers. Out with them, fox them, deceive them. <laughs> there is only one reason for that set from Kobjar. And that was to allow Kurkayev to take his frustrations out on leaving a free net last time around. And Kurkayev super spikes that into the floor and into the crowd. That was a huge hit. 12-7. Italy being taken apart in set two by Russia at the moment. some order from the service line for Italy it's a good serve oh no this time it's one too many from Igor Kodja out says Mario Bonola the first official no complaints from Russia felt like Kodja there was just seeing how far away from the net he could get and still find Kulke Platyev to what he needs to do for this Russian side. Your opposite spiker has a major role to play. They're there to put the ball away out of system. So when things aren't under control, when things aren't going quite to plan, your opposite player must deliver the kills. And Platyev is doing that. Italy, not quite been the same. Nelly taken off and benched. Pinali come in, he's done okay. But still not making an impression. Despite all of those super spikes from KF, a couple of monster blocks as well, it's missed some serves. He closed the gap to three. I think we're fairly close to seeing Nelly come back into the play here. Ali is just not doing enough to justify his place on court. But when we get round to the front line, I wonder if Nelly will come in for Pinali. Good rotations to go before then. Kobja with another excellent serve. Golubev keeps it in play. Wide to Kliuka. Gets a reuse. Balatiev whacks it out off the block. Italy not doing a massive amount wrong here. It's just Russia playing out of their skins. Great kill from Palatiev. Russia a little lucky in the middle of that rally. I think it was Palatiev actually who picked up by uh, using his palms of his hands and can sometimes be called as a carry, but they got away with it. Another good serve, Kabuto on his knees. Pinali from the back line is dug. 
and out of court. That hit might keep Finale on court. Kovlev's turn to put the ball away through the middle. It's a contact point. When, he, when you do your spike reach test, he has a contact point of 3 metres and 60. That is so, so far in the air. Translation either side of the net, but the concern for Blancini is when you're blocking against players that have a contact point so high above the net, the temptation is to reach up and not reach over. And you have to reach over Russo there, just allowing your Kovlev to go off his hands. And Blancini mentioning Kliuka a couple of times there, he's still a major concern in the front court. There we go again. Second technical timeout. This is where it all went wrong for Italy, who were 16 11 up, remember, in the first set against Russia. Didn't score another point until it was 16 all. So that's an encouraging signal, if ever there was one, if you believe in things like that. Russia's job to tick the scoreboard over again to 17 here. They do go to see a Volkov and there's a bit of afters whoa between Volkov and Gianelli and Gianelli did not like that from the Russian wing spiker and there's a full-on discussion shall we say and Mario Benola is gonna tell both players no let's cut this out you're not allowed to talk to each other through the net like that and that's a brilliant piece of refereeing because that's that's okay in the game it's okay to see that Bit of afters, some feisty discussions, that's fine. And as long as it doesn't go too far and the cards come out. It's just an extra dimension to this sport. A serve, Yakovlev lobs the Italian passers who have stood a long way into court. Trying to pass the ball overhand. And he's gone over their hands. Russia are racking the aces up. Place delivered. But Polo sorts it out. This match warming up very nicely, in more ways than one. The discussion. Inverted commas between Volkov and Gianelli. Five points in it. Italy in serious bother here. Not just for this set, but I think for this match. And that was the continuation of the discussion. Gianelli's just tried to knock Volkov off his feet. Volkov just eases out the way. And the serve goes wide. Keep an eye on that one. Could uh, continue for the match. But at the moment, Italy not offering enough resistance. Palatiev again. Oh, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. A massive ace to go to five. And Palatiev deliberately targeting position one. He's nearly taken Gianelli's head off here. 117.1 kilometers per hour. Italy call a timeout because they're worried Palatiev is going to kill them again from the service line. Bothered in Ufa. 
That's the Italian coach right now, Gian Lorenzo Blengini. Trying to talk with his players about what needs to happen, but sometimes it's out of your hands. And if the player is as hot as Palatiev is right now, what do you do? You can only back yourself to try and stop them. You can only try and play them, but at the moment, Palatiev looks unplayable. Five aces. Oh, 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 free ball. Wow. And the confidence bubbling over there. Palatiev hitting without real regard for the Italian block. And a stack from Pinali just outside Polo. Shuts down that run of aces. What a wonderful run, though. Six point lead now for Russia. This set is theirs. And they're getting away with everything. It's a funny boy, Kliuka. Doesn't seem to celebrate the enormous hits, but he seems to love all these little tricky shots. And he's deliberately played that. It's a cracking tip down in front of Gianelli. The Russian team here trying to stick it to the Italian captain. And they're doing it. Fuck off! Oh, wow! And that argument with Gianelli has fired him up as well. That's another monster hit from the baseline. Straight off the arms of Raffaele and into the crowd. Italy has to change things up surely. And Gianelli has lost his place on course. Spatali is on. That argument with Volkov has got to the young man, the 22-year-old. He'll learn. But for the moment... He's going to have to cool his heels on the bench. Back up set of Spatoli in. And another race from Volkov. The cheekiest off-pace spinner you will see. And Italy have fallen to pieces. Nobody took responsibility. And Volkov with a clean ace and the knee slide. He'd have thought he'd just scored the World Cup winner. Oh, massive. This is incredible. Russia now playing with real confidence. And it really doesn't matter what Italy do at the moment. Russia are going to walk through this second set. And the concern for Gian Lorenzo Blengini is this whole thing has boiled over and Italy have completely lost their heads. They've certainly lost their way in this match. Polo to serve. Long, way long. Set points for Russia. Nine in total. There's no way back from this in set two. This will be 2-0 Russia. It's just when and how. Kurkaev, who hasn't served very well in this game so far at the line. So a chance here for Italy to at least put another point on the board. They do. Good to see him. Kurkaev's abysmal service run. Nine aces at the moment for Russia. There's the damage. It's not just about the point you score, it's the fact you put the service reception on its heels. Nice bit of coaching from Samuel Guo for the young middle player. Pinali out, it's over. And Italy have got some serious concerns here in Ufa. Competitive in set one, just like the USA were against Russia yesterday. But since then, Russia have taken the game away from them. And the Azuri now have to think very seriously about the players they put on the floor for set three and about how they approach this game against Russia because the home team at the moment look untouchable. Brilliant performances all around from a very, very strong VNL outfit. Both teams coming into this game with two from two. Italy for the first time ever on the VNL, winning four games in a row. But it's amazing how sport can just wake you up. It can bite you on the backside if you're not careful. Because all of a sudden, all of that seems a long, long way off. Italy struggling in this game now. Russia, imperious and in control. Brilliant performance from them.
dominate in set of volleyball for Russia. Barely a highlight for Italy, as they were taken to the cleaners by some awesome jump serving. And there you go, there's the difference. Italy getting a couple of stuff blocks there. No shutdowns for Russia, but it's pretty much opportunity. The ball was never near the net. Such was the strength of serving. Six aces against Italy. Both teams ticking the scoreboard over. And in the end, a relatively straightforward win. In set two, 29-27, 25-16. Russia lead to love. And here's the spike contacts for the Russian team. Palatiev, Volkov, Luka, all weighing in. So both sides of the net, right and left. Distributional ball from Kovjar, keeping the Italian block honest by going occasionally to Yakovlev and the ever impressive Kurkev. Well, we know how Gian Lorenzo Blancini feels right now. A little exasperated at what's just happened, but that was high quality volleyball from the team in red. They are very good for their 2 0 lead, that's for sure. And if Italy want to come out of this with anything, to play a whole lot better they have to find a way to counter this Russian attack or Russia have to go off the boil that's always a possibility where Russia are concerned set three then Italy chasing the match and this is going to be a horrible first point from the Russian team nice off pace serve to cause the problem from Kabuto so important Italy get away to a flyer here get into the minds of the Russian players trying to just disturb their supreme confidence at the moment again. The crowd in this uh, eight and a half thousand seat to arena it's a sellout trying to do their bit for Russia wow that's really all you can say after a hit like that he is an astonishing athlete and when he gets it right, there are not many finer spikers than Igor Kluka. Oh, cool game. One part of his game that isn't working is serve. There we go, makes absolutely sure of that one. We've got a new player on court for Italy. 19 it's into the action, Lavia. Follow it is with the kill. And we see Polo back at the service line. Good dig. Nice chase over from Spitali. Italian captain's lost his place on court, but you cannot get past the Russian block from there. Not with that shot. Wants to block. Get Kovlev next to Kovja. Great effort from Italy to keep it in play, but only one result, and it's the Russian captain that gets the block. We'll go on his stats. Contributed well so far. Here's Kovja. Free ball. Luka. Why bother with power? when you have finesse at your disposal. Another sneaky play from Kliuka, he loves those tips. When they're being tipped from the top of the antenna, which that one was, straight down. It's too tough to defend. Back to this decent rotation of Kobjar serving. Good pass. Miss. And that's the problem with a new setter on court. All the dimensions change. You go from Gianelli, who's setting the ball above his head at well over two metres. You go to uh, Spedoli, considerably shorter. Spedoli, 188. Blocking, monster block from Kliuka. And as uh, Yakov Levy's middle player alongside him points out to the crowd at the bench, it's all Eagles. Monster block. Watch the technique. Watch him reach over. Watch him press. Watch him smile. You know they ain't smiling. Russia all over this game. Maybe 
jump serve again. Spitali forces it to Russo. Not as quick as Gianelli sets it, so Jakovlev saw it coming, but just didn't reposition himself well enough. And Roberto Russo. Right, Pinali goes to the baseline, but that means they've got 1 meter 88 Spadoli in the front line. And I think Kobchar is just going to follow the Italian setter around with his attacking plays here. Yeah, straight away, wide to Palatiev, who doesn't put it away. And Italy play on, free ball. No, horrible pass. And a great scrap from the Azuri to stay in the point. Well played, the Italians. That's the first hit, and well played. Smallest man on court at the moment in a regular coloured shirt, Spatoli, the number two for Italy. Oh, wow. No, we're going to get a challenge. Oh, well, it can't be a challenge if it's a carry called by the referee, Mario Banola. There's nothing Russia can do about this. And as Samovo is saying, forget it, play on. And it's these moments in a game that change dimensions, that change momentum. And Italy with a mini run of positive plays here, taking it to Russia. Pinali. Serve, well controlled by Kliuka. And Kliuka off the block. And into the antenna. He's the man at the moment, Kliuka. And Kopchar knows it. 6-5. To recover a bit of composure in set three. Kliuka to serve. Good serve as well. Great pass. Oh, wow. Monster block. One quick set in the middle, too many. And Yakovlev was waiting. Oh, he's all over it. Also gives it a swing. But that's a very fine piece of middle play. They're not missing. Russia are not missing from the line. But Italy are missing with their attacks and the pressure on again. Italy can't respond. And we go to our first technical timeout with Russia back to a comfortable three point cushion. And the service pressure is relentless from the team in red. I'm not sure what Italy can do now in this game. Russia have got it by the scruff of the neck. strange situations at the moment for Italy where their opponents are playing so well and playing at such a high level and so consistently but the only time Italy are getting to score points is when when Russia drop their standard it's Russia that are totally dictating the course of this match back to Kluka into the net particularly disciplined when your team is blocking as well as Russia are at the moment at the start of this set I'd have just rolled that play in back the blockers to do something but Luka has his own way of doing it Lavia back at the line decent serve pass by Volkov and it's played on Luka's got it though Kovjar goes middle again and Yakovlev once more with the tip to space Two in a row to the middleman. Great thinking from Kovja, despite the very best attentions of the Italian block. Russia at the moment just rampant through the middle. And six, Yakovlev to serve. Good serve. Wide for Cavuto, great pick up from Kovja. 
Volkov hits it hard. Lavia's on it. It's coming over. Free ball, Russia. Well tidied up by Kluka and well put away. Kurkayev must have hit that one around about the 340 mark. By that, three meters and 40 in the air from the floor. That is a long, long way up. Call a timeout. It's the only option they've got at the moment to stop Russia when they hit a patch of form like this. Gianelli and Antonov and Nelly all off court for Italy. Three of their original starting lineup benched. It's quite difficult to bring the backup players on and make an impression when your opponents are playing this well. Oblev again, another good serve, another free ball coming. Another punishing spike, this time from Volkov, but it's wide of the court. So the officials and referee Benola. But Italy hanging on by the skin of their teeth here. And do you see what I mean? The only time Italy is scoring is when Russia stopped playing. Three point push, also to serve. Palatiev, haven't seen him for a while. Will come back. Oh, it's too good. Too tight to the net. And blockers at this level do not let you get away with that. Got a KF all over it. The monster block. I mean, literally, Kabuto was underneath the roof there. Just couldn't find a way past it. Now, any more ace jinx from Palatiev? No, not this time. Your luck will run out at some stage. Russia has to hope that that doesn't signal a change in momentum in this match. Spatoli through the front line without too much damage being done over the top of his block. Oh, wow! Oh, what a play! The double quick in front of the setter. And Kobshar just putting it on a plate for his wing spiker. Everything fast. And a super spike to terminate. That is so impressive. Volkov bombs another one. Oh, and another monster block. Kurkayev next to Kliuka. It's another amazing run of play for this Russian team to push them well ahead in set three. And we've gone from what looked like it was going to be a stunning contest to Russia just shutting the lights out. This crowd silenced again, this time by Volkov's error, but Russia are flying in this match. with the serve. Italy will be feeling quite wretched down there on court. This is a horrible situation to be in. So Raffaele comes in for Oraset Cavuto, after that service error from Wing Spiker, he's replaced. KF with the serve. It's been a bit better in this set, the number 20 for Russia. Great defense from Volkov. Yuka, way too wide. He's tweaked his ankle there on the net 
podium. But that's not a problem for your Kluka. First opportunity to score a point in transition that Russia have wasted. Pressure here. Kluka to sort it out. It's a good hit. That's a brilliant piece of defence from the middle player. Oh, wonderful from Italy. There we go, bit of heart from the Azuri. And a fantastic piece of defence. Look at this from a middle player. What a touch from Polo. And what a kill from Lavia. That's a really nice inside to out hit. They are not easy to make from that side of court for the righties. And points the deficit. A little momentum swing again in this set. Could be another point, Italy. Raffaele. Easy pick up for Palatiev. Kluka. Hard off the blocker now. And just when Russia have needed it, one of their main men, number 18, Igor Kluka, has been putting the ball away for fun. You can't roof block that, you can only slow it down. I hope it doesn't go out of court. Another great serve from Kovjar. Free ball, Russia down the front of the block from Yakovlev. Russo just drifting. Wasn't quite sure where the ball was going to go. And didn't seal the net. And Russia storm. For the third time in a row to a 16 11 points difference at the technical timeout. Twice in favour of Russia, once in favour of Italy in set one. Part of the VNL is now the announcers in the stadium and the contribution that the crowd make to what is already a fantastic spectacle down there on court. It just brings things to a wonderful head. Sellout crowd. In this uh, 8,000 seater arena. And that's a great sight. Counter working his socks off down there in the crowd, though. They don't need much firing up. Kobjar goes again. Knocks Raffaelli back. Lavia into the block and down. Yakovlev is hitting a real purple patch of form here in the front court. Italy can't get the ball past him. And the Italian body language is not good. The shoulders dropped after that one. Russia now need to apply the finishing touch at the back end of this set. Free ball killed on the overpass. They are unstoppable at the moment, the team in red. And once again, the only way that Lengini can stop the scoreboard turning over is to call a timeout. A brief 30 seconds of rest for his team. Well, from a neutral point of view, the sad thing for us is we haven't seen Gabriele Nelli for enough of this match. Lost his place on court in the first set to Penali. Penali's done a good job. But it would have been nice to see Nelly try and play his way through this, play his way out of trouble and take it to Russia, but not to be. Kobjar again. What a serve. What a serve. And at last, Italy side out. It is, I feel, probably of little consequence now it's just about how long it takes Russia to get this across the line can anybody on the Italian side of the net change where this match is going Pinali good blocking nice recycle 
Spatoli goes to Pinali, who puts it away very nicely indeed. Good shot from the Moderna man. Spike contact at 3.49. You go to the gym, put a bit of chalk on your fingers and go and leap and reach as high as you can and touch the wall, and the coach measures it. It's your spike reach, but actually when you contact the ball, you contact it a little bit lower than that. Finale wanted to be the hero. But instead, a serve error. And just like that, you're the villain. Not sure coach Gian Lorenzo Blengini is going to do anything to change things up here. And for the first time this week, we see Fero Veronkov, the 23-year-old Nova wing spiker. Another man who stands two metres and seven. Three blockers up against Lavia. He's missed all of them. No, he's caught it. He's got it. Well spotted referees and no contest by way of a challenge from Russia. He goes back to the line. He's come on and played aggressively. You want to see that from your wing spikers. Come on and take it to this huge Russian block. But still five points to find on their own serve. Italy to get back on level terms. Great shot. Oh, great shot. So he's been on bench the whole week. And Voronkov gets his first chance to hit the ball, and he's absolutely demolished this. What a kill. I think he enjoyed that one. <laughs> Good finish and a great reaction. Italy hanging in just hanging in and hoping that before Russia get to 25 they get on a bit of a service run or a blocking run somebody has to step up to the plate here Polo comes back round to the front court Italian middle blocker that means Russo will be at the service line so as good as his serve is it's not a top spin jumper Palatiev had a quiet time of it run out of scoring at the 16 mark but he's back in it there with a nice block out hit but that run of aces in the second set that's when he ripped the heart out of this Italian performance 17 points for the game another big serve just about contained Italy off the block again, Raffaelli. The problem is though, you just can't keep siding out like that without full control of the ball. It's all out of system play by Italy. They're doing a good job. But I think Blangini's face says it all. What time was that flight home again? Well, it's just one of those days at the office and you have to accept it. You have to go back and do your research, your stats, process what's happened and go again in week three of the VNL. New man on court. And happy to be there. Fedor Veronkov with the serve. Massive hit again. Good rescue from Vronkov, wide to Kliuka, who drums it off the fingers of the block again. Well, Pinali a little bit angry with Polo after that block because he felt he drifted too far across and was reaching into the line rather than shutting down the eventual shot from Kliuka, which was the cross court. Two points required for another amazing win for Russia on the VNL. It won't come from that service from Voronkov. So now the big man's pass will be tested. If Raffaele will use Voronkov as a service target here. Yes, but it's a good pass. Easy pass. Oh, wow. What a play. And he's passed the ball and carried on from the pass and hit the most beautiful pipe. 
105 kilometers per hour. The contact point way above the net. Look at that from <laughs> from Kurkayev, followed by an immense hit. Match points and plenty of them for a perfect week for Russia here in Ufa. Net touch. They're going to have to wait. There's Kobjar going for the winning point. I think Kliuka is favourite to get this ball. That's assuming, of course, that Russia pass it to their captain and setter. Six match points. Polo serves. Ball in. No, Kobjar goes himself and just pokes it off Lavia's block. Don't think Italy are going to challenge this one. No. Russia have another victory and they consolidate their position in that top five of the VNL with a maximum three pointer. And their sets ratio will improve as well. Three 3 0 victories, a smart bit of thinking from Samo Vuo's captain. And the Russian crowd here in the Ufa Arena have been rewarded with a stunning exhibition of world-class volleyball from this Russian team. Still got players, the likes of Mikhailov, to bring back into this squad, but he's going to have to fight for his place now. It's Volkov and Tlyuka, and in particular, in that opposite position, Palatiev, were just amazing. What a performance. Thomas Samolvuo, the new coach of this Russian team, going along very nicely indeed. And it is the obligatory end of match celebrations, <laughs> followed by roughing up the mascot, that will be followed by the photo. Mascot's okay. Russia are more than okay. It's been a very good week for them on the VNL as they improve their chances of qualification. Well, plenty to enjoy for the Russian fans in that match. Plenty to enjoy from uh, the neutrals' point of view. There was some world class volleyball in there for the Azuri. Set one. Fantastic. Sets two and three, not at the races. Russia then record a third 3-0 victory here in Ufa. All the highlights belong to them. Let's have a last look at those match statistics. Russia out attacking Italy. But the real problem for the Italians was the number of blocks and the number of serves that Russia delivered in the match. A high standard, a high quality of performance on both sides of the net. It's just that Italy was just not allowed to play by a quite monumental Russian performance for three. And let's have a look at how that leaves the uh, VNL table. Remember, top five go through with the USA to the finals in Chicago in July. And Russia with the victory, jump ahead of Italy. So Italy in fifth, just ahead of Canada. Brazil lead Iran and France, who lost to Bulgaria today. And Russia move into fourth. Fantastic stuff then here today. We always say it, but we mean it. On behalf of the FIVB and all of the VNL team, Thanks for your company this week and thank you for being part of the game.